welcome back to the studio. Today I'm going to be, or in this session, I'm going to be painting the petunias in this pot of flowers. We've got big sunflowers here. These are angelonia. And I showed you previously the hummingbirds that were get collecting nectar from the angelonia. Now we're going to be doing the petunias. And I'm using mixtures of doxnine purple plus white. And then I'm using some ultramarine blue plus white. And I just am blocking in kind of mishmashing, smushing up color, as Jack would say. I just want to get a, a lot of the shadow color of my flowers. I'll come back and do the highlights. But first, I put the shadows in. And I just paint the flowers just purples and blues. This is a little phthalo blue plus white. And some of these flowers are going to cascade down over the blue pot. And petunias, their buds are long and just really get some happy color in here. I have a few petunias in here and then we're going to have more cascading out of this other side. Now, get a little bit of purple up in here behind the yellow sunflowers. Purple is the complementary color to yellow. So that'll make the yellow appear brighter. Complementary colors are colors that are across each other on the color wheel. And by placing complements next to each other, it makes the colors appear brighter. Yeah, I have a few little pieces coming up in there. Again, I'm working around my sunflowers. Another batch of my phthalo blue plus white that's just a little bit darker. Just want to get some nice variation of color in here. Keep my brush clean, I wipe it out with tissue. The secret to nice, clean, crisp colors on the canvas is to have a clean brush. Yeah, this, I like this. Get a little bit of that darker phthalo blue in there. Just adds a nice little color variation. Color surprises. Look at a few little... flowers kind of breaking off there. And these are going to cascade down. I'm going to let them come almost to the floor. smaller brush here. This is a bright brush. It has a square tip. I'm kind of get it straighter here. It has a square tip and I like these because they just I can form the flowers, the leaves. I can make a broad stroke with the flat edge or with the corner I can make a smaller stroke. Some of these little buds come down. A little breaking off the canvas here. That tape protects my frame. The frame is, I'm, I'm working on a gallery wrap canvas and the frame has been painted on with a white acrylic that I just tape off the edge of the size frame I want. Then I come back, paint it with the frame, the white, Pull that tape off and then I have my canvas exposed on the inside and then I just put my blue painter's tape over the frame to protect it as I'm painting. Then I can, when I'm done, I just pull that tape off and the frame is nice and clean. Make a little soft green here with my phthalo blue plus lemon yellow plus white. Some of those white flowers just get kind of almost a green tinge to them. Let me use my little bit smaller brush here. Yeah, 
not that brush clean, is I'm going to lighter colors. Just a little soft. Kind of a little blue-green in there. That blue-green looks pretty with the purple. Now, I'm going to come back in now and paint my foliage around the flowers. And this is a mixture of phthalo blue plus lemon yellow. It gives me a nice bright green. I can just start working around those flowers. Bring some darks in there. Again, I want to bring a little bit of that dark in behind where the yellow sunflowers are going to be. And I use the green to help shape the flowers. some lighter, a little lighter mixture. Now you can see I'm using the corner of that brush to make the little small leaves here. They're catching the light. Light's going to hit in here. And this area is pretty well going to be in shadow, so these I don't want as much light lighter green. I have some of this, but the lightest greens will be over here in this batch. Now I've saved some of my wall color and I'm going to come back in now and just got a little bit dark there. Bring some of my wall color in here little holes in the where you, the wall peeks through that the flowers there. Now I'm going to make centers in these flowers with a mixture of alizarin crimson plus liquid. This gives my deep centers. The centers are just a nice dark. Come back in. will just peek through the sunflowers, but we want to get the feeling that there's those petunias growing up in between the sunflowers there. And that alizarin crimson just gives a nice red center in there. I clean my brush each time so I don't want to because it picks up, see how it picks up the white? So I have to clean it so that I get my, keep my dark, dark red in there. And this is just plain old bathroom tissue. Uh, really the cheapest we can buy. Buy it in rolls of 24 and because I use a lot of it. And you want to get a big enough clump that you don't get paint all over your fingers can't use just two or three little squares. You need, you need a pretty good clump. You want your hands to be clean. And even now, I've gotten a little paint on my hands, but I 
when I do that, I try to make sure to, to wipe it clean so that I don't get paint all over me and the cats and everything in the house. So. I do you wipe? I wipe my brush two or three times, and then it's it's time for a new new piece of tissue. Okay, I'm going to start adding the highlights on my flowers. Now again, our light is coming in from the right, from this direction. So, now see how that white pops with those darker colors. Can't have dark, ha can't have light without dark. And that even applies to our life. So when we're going through a dark period of life, just remember that it's those dark periods that make the light, the happy periods, all the brighter, all the happier. As tough as it is to go through those tough times, if we didn't have those tough times, we certainly wouldn't appreciate the good times. So, so here's our light on these flowers. Now the sunflowers are making shadows on these. Now these are going to catch a little light not much. They're pretty much in shadow. And then these little buds here are catching the light. See how I can use the corner of my brush to make those. Now I come back with my red. And I add a little bit more into these centers. I'll bring a few little pieces of that center over my over my white highlight. I love petunias. I think one of the neatest things about petunias is after you get them at the nursery and you're particularly here in Texas in the summer and they're in your hot car, they have the most beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Just a wonderful flower. And I've got a little bit here I'm going to show some more white on. Just a little catch of white in there. there. Then I'm going to bring some dark up in here. So our sunflower will be coming down over these, but I just want a little bit of dark in there and a little bit of dark here to define that, that guy. And a little bit of dark up in there. Bring some darks into this foliage. Bring a few little light leaves in there. Now I'm going to make a little bit of lighter, use my lighter Thalo Blue Plus White to come back and add a little bit of lighter onto some of these that are in shadow, but it just gives a little more definition. And then this is also some of that little soft green. That's almost too light. I may leave that. That kind of looks good. And then I'm also going to use a little bit of my purple. That's too bright. And we get, just want some variation in those flowers. They're not just all the same tone. They're kind of lacy and so they get different. Okay, I'm going to go back in and rework the centers in some of these that I added some extra little light on. And the last step on doing these petunias is I'm going to throw a few little petals on the ground. Unless a patio has been freshly swept or blown, there's going to be a few little flower petals here and there. They just that ha helps add a little bit of realism to your painting. Just get that feeling. There's even this one will have a little stem on it. It's not real apparent, but it's just there in there. Throw another one. Let's see. I want three, so we'll have one. Can't decide where I want to put it. 
this right in here. And there's our petunias. Thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I also have a blog. The link is in the description below. I also have the address on the final frame of my video along with the address of my website. So thank you so much for visiting our studio today and you have a great, great day.